Welcome you all to our Arbor Day celebration here in Westminster. And I'm going to start this um, Arbor Day officially by reading a proclamation. And this is a traditional proclamation. And Marge Wolf, if she can wave, told me that I've been empowered for, on behalf of the mayor, to read this proclamation. Um, and so it goes. Whereas in 1872, Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees, and whereas this holiday be called Arbor Day, was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska. Imagine Nebraska, there are hardly any trees there. And now observed throughout the nation and the world, and whereas trees can, be redu can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-giving oxygen, and provide habitat and wildlife. And whereas trees are a renewable resource, giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products. Whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. And whereas trees, what, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. Now, therefore, I, Steve Allgaier, mayor of the city of Westminster, <laughs> I'd love this, do hereby proclaim, you were here at that moment when the power went over. <laughs> I urge all citizens to celebrate Arbor Day to su support efforts to protect our trees and woodlands. And further, I urge all citizens to plant trees to gladden the heart and promote the well-being of the future generations. Um, thank you. And, and just before I, I turn the speaker over, um, one of our, our um, esteemed um, Tree Commission members couldn't make it, but she sent me a, a quote. This is from Cindy Mae West. I saw Don here earlier. He's still here. Um, and, and I think this really captures the optimism we have whenever we plant a tree because we're planting a tree in what was an area once covered in trees and now you can easily see why there aren't many trees because we have buildings and concrete and, and asphalt um, but we're still optimistic we plant a tree all the time hoping it grows um, and i think this quote captures it the true meaning of life is to plant trees under whose shade you do not expect to sit and that i i think is it and i i would love this is really not just an Arbor Day celebration, but we are also kind of paying tribute to, to Jeannie, and I'd like Bernie to come up and say a few words, if you would. My daughters would like to come and stand with me, please. Mr. Mayor, <laughs> <laughs> members and staff of the Westminster Common Council, members of the University of Maryland Extension, the Carroll County Agricultural Center, fellow downtown business merchants, citizens of Westminster, Jeannie Bird Baking Company customers, friends, and family. Thank you for attending the 26th annual Westminster Arbor Day celebration and honoring my wife with the planting of these two gecko trees. Jeannie had many passions and talents, with gardening and landscaping being two of her favorites. She began each project with the end in mind and often said when the seed and bulb catalogs arrived just after Christmas, my garden is always prettiest before I plant. She began each project, or Jeannie had an innate talent to envision beauty that was contained in a bare patch of earth before she put her spade in the ground, which is really the hallmark of any skilled gardener. My wife also had a strong commitment to the environment, insisting that our business not rely on disposable products where possible, and, ver and was very discriminating when it came to selecting the products we sold, especially plastic water bottles, which we do not. She was a committed composter and was very proud to be the first restaurant in Carroll County to earn a level two green business certification in our first year of business. When we came to Main Street in July of 2014, Jeannie asked our dear friend, Don West, to approach the city about removing the defunct and defaced payphone stand that was next to the bake shop. 
Donna's one of the chairs of the Waste Not Carol, Planet Carol Green Business Network, the owner of Double Diamond Construction, but he is indeed a very dear friend. He has done so much for our community and the environment as well as our business. Jeannie's, Jeannie always envisioned beautiful gardens on the corner. Perhaps it's because she knew that the time commitment of operating our bucket list bake shop dream would not afford her the time to tend her gardens at home. Or perhaps it was the future beauty of a garden not started that she envisioned. She never got around to this garden, either this garden either, but since the payphone was removed, many others have done things to make this corner a real thing of beauty. People like our friend and loyal customer, Ted Chase. With the help of the manpower of the McDaniel chapter of the SAE fraternity, we, they have weeded, planted, and mulched the beds around us. Serving as an advisor, Ted also nurtures, nurtures servant leadership and these young men who will become leaders of our community and stewards of our environment. And on behalf of my children, Meredith, Audrey, and my son, Thomas, who could not be here today, he is training at uh, uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio with the United States Air Force, but he sends his regards. And on behalf of our amazing crew, Jeannie's work family, I want to thank the people of Westminster for these two beautiful remembrances of my wife. We will remember Jeannie's legacy of love, of this wonderful community, and her commitment to the environment as we watch the season change from Jeannie's favorite windows in the kitchen. Thank you all very, very much. We appreciate you.